Yo, in this video, I'm going to tell, tell y'all the truth about being famous. Like, I gotta admit, it's great. Having people support you, having people loving you, having people listen to you and being inspired by you. There's this great thing to fame, you know? I mean, there's the ups and downs, I'm going to be honest. Like, the great thing is everyone around you just starts treating you like you all of a sudden matter. Like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a unique feeling. But what you also got to worry about is people trying to... Once you get really famous, there's going to be people that try to mob you, people that try to take advantage of you, but don't actually care about you. <clears throat> I mean, if you're, like, really famous and you collaborate with a celebrity, I wouldn't call that taking advantage. But I'm talking about, like, people that will literally just try to get stuff out of you when they have nothing to offer you. That's the thing. I'm a good person, so I'm not like that, like... I keep it real and I call people out, but people that are good to me, I'm really good back to them. Like, I'm good to those who are good to me. And, and that's the way it is. Because what I realize is, if you waste your time on people that don't care about you, you're just going to be miserable. But if you take, if you care about those who care about you, you're going you're gonna to feel good about yourself, feel important in life, you know? And the truth about fame is, is I, I would love to have paparazzis. I'm not at that point of paparazzi level yet. I'm not there yet. But I will keep working to get there. Plus, I don't live in L.A., so I'm not around where the paparazzis are. Usually, if you live in, like, the big cities, which I'm not in the big cities, that's where you have a lot of your paparazzis. So yeah, like, the thing is, is when, when you're famous, people try to do anything to bring you down. Whether it's people in real life, people on the internet, they will try to attack you in any way they can and try to ruin your career in any way they can. Because they're not happy with their lives. And I understand there's a difference between people not agreeing with you or people not supporting a specific thing you did, but... The people take it too extreme. Like, you do something wrong, you have to worry about the world trying to ruin your career, like... These famous people are only human at the end of the day. They're only human. Whether they have a million followers, a hundred million followers, they're only human. They all make mistakes. It, we all do stupid things sometimes that if we could take it back or we could learn the lesson before we did it, we would. And that's just the way it is. Like, when you're famous... It's like a totally different world. Like, let me tell you. Like, like when, when you become a content creator, you're always going to have those people that try to bring you down, try to stop you or whatever. Like, it gets it's like it gets freaking exhausting sometimes. But, but I, I love the fans. The fans are my world. And I wouldn't quit on something that got me to where I am today. I'm not a famous YouTuber, I'll admit that, but I'm almost at 2 million on TikTok, so. I'm close, alright? I'm not there yet, but I'm close. And yeah, like, ever since this fame thing, like, I've been getting recognized all the time in public, like. Like, it's, like, in big places. Like, if I'm ever at a place where there's a lot of people, I'm always gonna get recognized, like. And I always have people comment saying, oh, I saw you here. I saw you there, and I was like, I didn't even post that I was here. How did they know I was here? They probably actually saw me there. That's the thing. Like, when when these people get really famous, like the Kardashians, right? Sometimes people want their privacy, and sometimes they don't want everybody trying to criticize all their business. It's like the second somebody gets famous, it's like these people have no feelings. Like, I mean, Kylie Jenner was... Let's talk about this. I don't, I don't have a problem with the animal rights activists. Let them do their thing. Let, let them do their protest. But there is no reason to go up to Kylie Jenner and harass the hell out of her because she she brought she bought she clothes from a place where they sold fur. I I feel like they did this just to attack a freaking star. All right, they they do this all the time with politicians and celebrities. They look for the worst things and they freaking attack the hell out of them. It, it's absolutely insane. Like, 
Like you, you literally had to have freaking bodyguards making sure Kylie Jenner got out of, out there safely. Like it was getting insane. I, I mean, I mean, animal rights activists they're entitled to protest about whatever they want and all that, and I understand that. But there is no reason to go up to a celebrity and make them feel like shit about themselves. All right. I, I mean, there was a Kylie Jenner. Jenner probably didn't know. Always a big city. A lot of stuff goes on in the city. Kylie Jenner was probably going out the shop. She probably had no idea there was a protest. And by coincidence, the the protest was right across the street and they came to Kylie Jenner. I mean, honestly, I don't even look at much protest stuff. So if I went somewhere and by coincidence, there was a protest across the street for something related, I would probably have just left. Because... I'm not going to interfere with protests. Like, let the people do their thing. Let them have their beliefs. I understand. Freedom of speech. Free country. I understand. So, yeah. But I just don't understand the point in harassing a celebrity for shopping somewhere. Like, I, I don't understand that. These people do not have to shop at that store. But what's the point in harassing a celebrity for it? I'm not obsessed with Charlie D'Amelio, but but the people were sending her death threats over some stuff, all right? Over the way they acted at a dinner, all right? Like, do you guys write the death threat someone over it, though? And tell someone to kill themselves? I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I've agreed with everything Charlie D'Amelio has ever done in her whole life. I don't agree with every, anything anyone has done in their whole life. But the point is, is you guys do not need to send that, that girl death threats and telling her to kill herself. That was fucking ridiculous. Like, seriously. There are celebrities that actually take their own fucking lives because of the hate they get online and the hate they get in their life. It happens. It happens. You saw what happened with, uh, I think his name, what was it, Robin Williams, the comedian? He took his own life. We don't know what was going on behind the scenes, but I'm sure he had to deal with a lot of criticism. I I, I don't think the guy should have gotten to the point where he wanted to kill himself. Like, seriously. These celebrities are only humans. We still have feelings. We still have interests. We still want our privacy sometimes, and we still want to live our lives like anyone else. We I love paparazzis personally. I love my fans personally. But, like... One time I saw a video where paparazzis were showing up at Kanye West's house. It's his freaking house. Was that really necessary? And also this shit where people leak celebrities' addresses, that's not okay. Like, that's not okay. The celebrity doesn't put it out there, then don't put it out there. Because that's their personal information. Like, don't don't be leaking people's information. That's not right. I'm not okay with that. Absolutely not. That's why these celebrities don't want to show their houses anymore. Because with social media and everything nowadays, all they have to do is take a picture of the outside of their house and someone can find out where they live. Take a picture of the whole house. Mm-hmm. Someone could Google Maps that and find out exactly where they live. That's why these celebrities need security. And I will always be famous. I will always try to be famous. I got an important message to spread. It's been my dream to be a celebrity for several years, and I will always pursue my dreams and my goals. I, I'm I'm a difference to the industry, and I'm I'm a difference in general. And I got a message to spread, and I'm an entertainer for life. But I'm just saying, think about the celebrities. These people still have feelings. These people still have feelings. Like one time, I heard Chase Hudson, Lil Huddy, was about to kill himself because of the hate, and I heard Avani saved him or something. Do I agree with everything Chase Hudson has ever done? No. But I don't think you guys need to hate the guy to the point where he's literally ready to kill himself. That's fucking ridiculous. I understand expressing your opinions and all that, but you guys don't need to hate him to the point where he literally tries to kill himself. Thank God that guy survived. Like, seriously. Personally, I loved his content back in 2018. Like, he was really funny back then. I don't have a problem with it now, but 
I, I, I do not have a problem with him. I, I don't know him as a person. Just like same thing with the Demelius. I might say stuff about them being like rich and stuff. But personally, I don't know them in person. So if I ever say anything, I don't have a problem with them as people. That's something I'd like to clarify here. We might have different upbringings or whatever, but I don't know them as people. So I don't have a problem with them as people. They don't seem like the worst people. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't know them. People think they people think they know celebrities just by seeing videos on the internet. No, you really don't. Sometimes the most cocky ones just have a cocky personality, but they're humble people, you know? Sometimes people just have an obnoxious personality, but they're actually really good people. That's why it's important to get to know someone's soul. And someone's real personality. Like someone can someone can come off as a loudmouth, but they can actually be a really caring person. Like, once you get to know them, you know? That's why it's important to give everybody a shot. Like, a chance. And the fame is awesome. I'm sure people love it. Like, someone can post something on social media and get millions of views. They can make music on YouTube, get hundreds of millions of views. And with these record labels and record labels and talent agencies and marketing agencies... There's a lot of potential for the average people now. With TikTok out, TikTok has changed the industry. I don't think people realize this. On Instagram and YouTube, you had to be really lucky. On TikTok, it's just about the content itself. On Instagram and YouTube, it's all about luck and, and who you know and who can rig it for you. But on YouTube, you see most of these people come becoming famous from places like Vine, TikTok, stuff like that. Vine was kind of rigged too because Vine, they had the popular page. Who was trending? Like you had to already be trending to get the, the, the views, basically. You had to already be going viral for that. But yeah, like the fame is awesome. But the fame is always going to be a great thing. But people got to treat these famous people just like human beings. Like, like they have feelings. I mean, I understand, like, the paparazzi thing and all that and recognizing them in public and all that. But these people have feelings, too. And I just want people to take that into consideration. Like, once these famous people get famous, it's hard for them to know who their true friends are because everybody suddenly wants stuff from them. That's the thing. If I'm friends with somebody, I'm, I'm a true friend to them. And, that, and that's the way I am. But if people start... I mean, people start screwing you over and all that. Like, I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm loyal to those who are loyal to me. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please comment down below what you thought. Share the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. Pay me the money on Cameo for a shout out or booking a request. And thanks for watching.